person was killed, the father was killed, the mother had injuries, and the children, three children, are now in the custody of their grandparents. And at this point here, we've got between six to 8,000 people out of electricity in Little River and Sevier County. We've got trees and power lines down. It is a total big mess, yes, that is correct. And you told me there's 15,000 residents in the county, so that's a huge part of the county, and a lot of it is rural without power right now. That is correct, yes. And what's the prognosis on the power? Have you talked to the power company here locally? We haven't, uh, but they advise they're going to be working into the night to get power back for everyone. And at least the, the road's fine. Now, this road was closed earlier. This was, tree, if, oh. yes, it's open now, and the road and highway department have been working to open up the side roads onto the main highways. Okay, Sheriff Gregory, thanks for that. And and keep up the, uh, the stamina. I know it's been a long day for you. Yes, sir, thank you so much, I appreciate you. You're welcome. And we found out uh, about a half an hour ago from the National Weather Service. That would put the winds, Dave and Alex, somewhere between 111 and 135 miles an hour. Back to you. Wow, All impressive. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mike, be safe. Well, our storm specialist, Dr. Greg Postel, is standing by with the second of the two threats that exactly. we're talking about this hour. Right, he was just tracking the tropics. Now, Dr. Postel, you're talking about the storms because we have plenty of warnings to go around. Oh my goodness, yeah, lots of them. Let's go right to Mississippi. We've got all kinds of severe thunderstorm warnings and a tornado warning up near Tupelo. Let's go there right now and show you on the map. This is what we're dealing with, guys. A line of storms really extending from north to south across Mississippi. Inside of that line, we have severe thunderstorms and some severe thunderstorms that are producing severe thunderstorm warnings with even a tornado warning here. Let's have a look at it right now. This is for the counties of Lafayette in Mississippi until 3.30 p.m. Central Time, guys. These lines of storms have been producing spin-ups of tornadoes that are very brief, very hard to detect, and I can tell you, looking right now at the velocity signature in here, it is hard to pick up. So, uh, these things may show up very briefly with little or no advance warning, so take cover if you are under a tornado warning. You may not have any time to prepare. Here are the times and the locations that will likely be impacted by this potential tornado all the way through Myrtle at 3.45 p.m. Central Time. Again, these are moving through very rapidly toward the northeast at over 40 miles per hour and uh, have shown little warning all day long. We've been chasing these things, and I'm telling you what, here's another one. This is farther to the east-southeast in Mississippi for Winston County is included there until 3.30 p.m. Central Time. Now we can go to the high definition radar and show you that these are some storms that are isolated out ahead of the main line to the east of it in Mississippi. And we can look inside of them and I can show you that these are supercells. Uh, right now, this one in particular is not rotating real strong, but I can show you the radar, which has the rotation clearly outlined like that, where you have the reds and the greens showing you motions away and toward the radar respectively. So there's a swirly inside, the updraft is rotating. It's not necessarily producing a tornado, but watch out, this one could intensify and spin up much like we've seen all of these do all day long. Let's go now to the latest uh, in parts of Alabama. This is what we've got here moving northward, getting close to Birmingham, Alabama. And there we go for Chilton and Coosa counties until 3.15 p.m local time. Actually now until 4 o'clock for Bibb, Jefferson, and Shelby counties. Here's a band of thunderstorms, probably with some gusty winds over 60 miles per hour, moving in that direction. Guys, prepared for that all across the region. Here's some of the uh, locations. We timed this uh, line of storms, essentially. This one's different. Notice this one's moving from south to north. The other ones were moving from west to east. Alabama, you're going to get a lot of thunderstorms tonight out ahead of the line, and some of those could be producing tornadoes later on, especially, I think, as the powerful upper-level system moves in. We have a tornado warning here for Illinois. This is a new one for Jackson and Perry counties until 345 for these cities, so watch out in the locations, guys. Uh, I can zoom in. Let's go to the, uh, I think I have a high-definition radar to show you. See that red box? That is the tornado warning for us, and I can zoom in on this guy to show you that. Let's see if there's anything is hotter than in there. Right near Ava. There you go. This is why the storm is being worn, because it's got that circulation. The green's very close to the reds. That means you have the shifting winds, the twirling winds right near Ava. And again, this thing is moving about like that. So Dequin and locations nearby, watch out for the possibility of a tornado moving through. Brief spin-ups can occur with pretty much
catch any one of these storms. Guys, back to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Postel. Well, it is our mission to keep you ahead of any life-threatening storm. We call it Weather Ready. Now, here's some advice to help in a tornado warning. If you're in a home with a basement, avoid windows and then get into that basement. Get under some kind of sturdy protection or cover yourself with thick padding or sleeping bag. And make sure you've got shoes on your feet, too, in case you uh, can get you out need of to that walk basement. out in the debris. There could be some broken glass. Yep. From the very minute you have this idea that you want to be in business, you need to have that card. Presentation is everything because they're not only first impression of you, but now you're handing them this product that really is kind of going to define your business in their mind pretty quickly. You want a very thick uh, card that feels nice in your client's hand. I think it's nice to have a choice because sometimes you want a glossy card, but for other projects, I don't want necessarily want all that. Your business card is a reflection of you. It should say exactly what you want. With a range of design, stock, and finish options at Vistaprint, it will. Get 500 business cards starting at just $9.99. Just enter promo code TV500 at vistaprint.com. That business card, when I make a connection with someone, has to be phenomenal. It has to be elegant and invoke all the things that Diamond stands for. Just that professionalism is going to make you, as a business owner, more successful. Just right off the bat. Vistaprint.com. Tomorrow. I bought 51% of this business. I now control you, and I can throw you out. Marcus Lamonis does whatever it takes to fix a failing business. I'm 100% in charge. The Profit. All new episodes premiere tomorrow, 10 Eastern and Pacific, on the fastest growing network in prime time. What I say goes. CNBC. Currently in our area, 87 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. Let's do a reality check. Kids will be kids. Dogs will be dogs. So let's get some paint that's more than just paint. Made to stand up to this and look beautiful for years. Let's lose the old marks and messes and stop new ones in their tracks. Let's worry-proof our walls. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Bear Premium Plus with easy clean finish starting at $25.97 a gallon. Let a severe cold hold you back. Sir? Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Get up to 20% off and 1,000 rewards points at bestwestern.com with a swipe, a tap, or a click. Get up to 20% off and enjoy breakfast, free high-speed internet, and 1,000 rewards points. Only at bestwestern.com. Heavy rain and fierce winds. You're braving this bad weather for a drive across town. After all, what's the harm? The answer to that hits you in a flash. Live power lines brought down by falling branches are sparking all around you, and you're sitting in a car made of metal. So do you think you'd know what to do? Would you? 
A. Open the door and make a run for it as soon as possible. B. Stay put and hunker down inside your car. Or C. Climb through the window and onto the roof to signal for help. The right answer may shock you, but not as much as the wrong ones. So there you are. Inside your vehicle, living an electric nightmare. Do you think you could survive live power lines around your car? Your best bet? B. Stay in your ride. If you're in a car and you're touching down power lines, you want to stay in that vehicle until those power lines have been safely secured. You're going to be safer in a closed area than you are trying to get out of the vehicle, touching metal, and potentially getting electrocuted. Even if wires are not sparking, they could still be energized. Do not trust any wires to be dead. Wait until the utility service arrives and tells you that it is safe and that the wires have been de-energized. Good advice. Let's take a look at some of the areas that could see some storms capable of producing wind gusts that could take down trees or power lines. We start up in parts of north central Illinois, go all the way down towards the Gulf Coast. You can see these go anywhere from 7 o'clock local time until 10 o'clock. So the further eastern spots keep those ones going a little longer. These are all tornado watches as there is the chance of a tornado as well as hail and damaging wind gusts. Let's start with a tornado warning this up into the state of Illinois just over the border with Missouri. This is for Jackson and Perry County, right around the Pickneyville area. You're one of the uh, cities in the path of this storm. If you are in the path of this one, lowest level, most interior room is where you want to be. Pyatt's, you're going to see this storm in five minutes, 315 local time. Dave, over to you. This is a scary day. This is. We've got a lot going on. We've got two tornado warnings, and then you saw all the severe thunderstorm warnings, and those damaging winds can be just as powerful. Over 50 reports so mm -hmm. far today. Yep. Thank you, Alex. Well, this line of dangerous storms is sweeping across the south and midwest. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff joins us now live from Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, Dave, you're having to hold on to that hairpiece, I imagine, today. Pretty windy. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Hey, uh, we, we are talking about the flooding potential here in Music City a little later today. We're still about six hours away from the storm being right on top of us here in Nashville. It's over in Memphis right now and pushing this way. This is the Cumberland River behind me, and this river is not necessarily at flood level right now, but after a very dry month in September, we have hit five inches already in this this month, so they're looking for some possible flooding potential starting at 9 central into the overnight hours. So that could happen right here. So right now, the emergency operations center is going into effect. We just learned that in one hour right here in the city of Nashville. David and Alex. All right, thank you, Dave Malkoff from Nashville, Tennessee. That's Music Man, Dave Malkoff. It is. Well, tens of millions are in the threat area tonight and Wednesday, including Nashville. If you're in a house without a basement or a dorm or apartment, avoid windows. You want to go to that lowest floor, small center room, like a bathroom, closet, even a mail room. Go under a stairwell or an interior hallway with no windows. You want to crouch as low as possible to the floor and cover your head with your hands. Gonzalo about to be a hurricane. We'll have a look at it next. This is our new turkey cranberry flatbread before we craft it into a sandwich. The tender, slow-roasted turkey, the zesty cranberry mustarda, the freshly baked flatbread, paired perfectly with our autumn squash soup. A delicious meal made just for you, only at Panera Bread. It's a great day to try Panera Bread's Fuji Apple Chicken Salad. Fatherhood. Lesson number one. Deep sea delight. Pregnant wives have late night cravings. Um, the ice cream, please. Lesson number two. Thank you. Make sure you get her ice cream in a cup. With a lid. That's why you want accident forgiveness from Allstate. It keeps your rates from going up just because of an accident. Plus, when you switch today, you could save up to 10% more on your auto policy. Just a few more ways. The good hands are doing more than ever before. Call 866-532-0707 now. 
she's still the one for you. And Cialis for daily use helps you be ready anytime the moment is right. Cialis is also the only daily ED tablet approved to treat symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision or any allergic reactions like rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use and a free 30-tablet trial. There. Ew. Hot stuff. Uh, not turning the thermostat down. That's not what I was doing. I was just having fun. Come here. Nice and tight. Atta oh, girl. Daddy. There's a sweet spot. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hey, that, Stop. Oh, that, um, that didn't happen in practice. There's a better way. Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you the temperature you want in any room with no duct work and lower energy bills. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Go to MitsubishiComfort.com. It may have just looked like a storm, but they were dealing with something far, far worse. Sunday night, the Weather Channel unravels a new tale of weather legend. Voodoo's like magic, is it? The Treasure Coast is a special part of Florida. It's why people retire here. It's why Bob and I moved here to raise our daughter, and I believe it needs to be protected. That's why I've worked hard to find funding to clean up the Indian River Lagoon and Loxahatchee. And it's why I voted to cut taxes and fees for our seniors and small businesses. Our community is worth fighting for, and I am just getting started. When you told me about this Candy Crush game at first, I thought, so what? But now I can't stop playing. <laughs> That's not how it works. I mean, it's so simple. It's like my car insurance. I say 15% in 15 minutes. Well, insurance could have saved you money in half that time. Three in a row. Sweet. 15 minutes for a quote isn't so sweet. Level two. Start with a quote from insurance and you can save money on car insurance in half the time. Welcome to the modern world. Insurance, backed by Allstate. Click or call. With five screenings for $149. Call now at 800-393-7147. Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. We're going to be with you all night long covering the severe weather threat. Only on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. The northern windward islands are being hit by a strong tropical storm. This foggy view is St. Bart's. It's actually not fog, it's just condensation on the lens. We've had heavy rain, we've had very strong winds, and that's going to be the case for the rest of the afternoon. Conditions should improve on St. Bart's and St. Martin's late tonight and then tomorrow. We should be pretty much home free as the cleanup will continue. Trees and power lines down, that kind of thing. Tropical Storm Gonzalo, either uh, by tomorrow, could even be a hurricane at that point. There, uh, there are uh, Air Force reconnaissance planes that are flying in through this. That's been happening all day, and that will happen again today, tomorrow. And the next day, they just found a pressure. You see that pressure over there? It says 988. Well, they just found a 986 pressure. So that's showing that some strengthening continues. It is a strong tropical storm at 70 miles an hour and it's moving west-northwest at 10 miles an hour. Okay, so who's going to get what? 
Who's going to be impacted by what? Well, these are the warnings that have been issued by these countries. The, well, the Puerto Rico and Vieques and the U.S. Virgin Islands are all under a hurricane watch. That means they anticipate that the storm itself will be a hurricane. There's the potential for hurricane force winds, for example, here. But with the storm moving in this direction, the eye wall should probably stay north of Puerto Rico, north of the U.S. Virginia, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands. It's the British Virgin Islands out here where a hurricane watch is in effect. Look at the eye. Man, that thing is moving right toward Anguilla. It moved over uh, some other small islands. We have yet to get reports of that, but that's all happened today. Very small islands, not enough to disrupt the swirl that is Tropical Storm Gonzalo. So some strengthening is still likely the rest of this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, actually for the next three days. This is what we can expect rainfall wise. Puerto Rico, maybe eight to 10 inches up there in the mountains, three to five for San Juan. Conditions go downhill for you in Puerto Rico tonight and tomorrow, then improve on Wednesday. And here, just an increasing showers. We're not expecting any major impacts for the island of Hispaniola. Where does it go? Perhaps Bermuda. It takes a turn to the north, misses the United States completely. Bermuda could be in threatened by a Category 2 hurricane by the weekend. We'll keep you guys updated. That's your tropical weather update. It's now 22 past the hour. Now for a look at some of that severe weather stateside. Here's Alex. Thank you, Dave. I want to show you this video from the small town of Coldwater, Kansas. That's off to the southwest of Wichita, and we had an awful lot of hail there. Let's talk about where the severe storms are right now. Hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes possible with this outbreak that we are seeing today, and we'll continue to see into tomorrow. Cold front, you can see stretched through western sections of Mississippi down through New Orleans, and that is where that line of storms is leading through right now. Moisture flowing in out ahead of this cold front, one of the factors that goes into uh, those thunderstorms. So here's a look at all the warnings that are currently in play. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings galore and a few tornado warnings. This one right around the Oxford, Mississippi area, Lafayette County, until 3.30 p.m. Central Time. You can see Oxford in that uh, upper left-hand side of the warning. Really, at this point, it's past you. Keel, Burt, and Etta are a few of the towns that are going to be having to watch for this storm as it rolls through lowest level, most interior room where you want to be if you are in the path of this one. Further up to the north and east, we've got a severe thunder, or rather a tornado warning, I should say, just off to the north of Corinth. This one for Chester, Hardy, and McNary counties. Adamsville, Crump, and Morris Chapel are some of the counties that are, in, or the cities that are included within the path of this one. So this does include parts of Tennessee. So you've got to watch for this one as well. This one is moving off towards the northeast. That warning goes until 3.30. Back down into the state of Alabama, around the Birmingham area, things are less than perfect. If you are headed home a little early today, you've got some heavy rainfall moving through, chance of some gusty, damaging winds, maybe even some hail with this, and a ton of lightning. Take a look at all these lightning strikes, especially off towards the south and southwest of Birmingham. Within that box, nearly a 1,000 strikes. Dave. Now, if you're in a tornado warning, and you're in an office building, go directly to an enclosed windowless area in the center of the building on the lowest floor possible. Interior stairwells, perfect. Stay off of ele elevators just in case the power goes out. When he first joined the Army, I was very nervous. Uh, we didn't know what they would have him doing. But Bobby always had a plan. With unmatched training in over 150 careers beyond the battlefield, there are over 150 surprising ways to become Army strong. Talk to your son or daughter about opportunities in the Army. Making jackets that are built to perform anywhere is hard work. take our job very seriously. Guaranteed quality, no matter what you're up against. From L.L. Bean. Listen up, Thunder Dragons. It's time to get a hotel. Hey, Razor, check this out. We can save big with Priceline Express deals. You know what, man? These guys ain't no dragons. 
They're cold. These deals are legit. Hey, we're cool. She's cool. We're cool. This is Charlie. His long day of doing it himself starts with back pain and a choice. Take four Advil in a day or just two relief for all day relief. Hmm. Honey, you did it. <laughs> okay, Sue, here's your card. Thank you. And your bill. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Don't worry. Your insurance should cover a lot of it. I'm glad I got it. I almost didn't. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Don't let the high cost of dental work catch you off guard. Whether you're retired or just looking for something new, be ready with dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. For about a dollar a day, we pay for over 300 covered procedures, including cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. We cover preventive care from day one with no deductible. And that's great because even a checkup can cost over $100. Plus, with Physicians Mutual, there are no networks, so you can keep the dentist you know and trust. Call today to get this free information kit with all the details. You'll see why this is our fastest growing coverage. So don't wait. Get the protection you need before you need it. Call now. So you're saying you're going to give me my credit score for free, right? And then you're going to ask me for my credit card so you can charge me on the down low. Two weeks later, look, credit karma. Oh, are you talking to websites again? It's saying free credit score. Credit karma? Yeah, it's actually free. Look, you don't have to put in your credit card information. <sighs> credit karma. Really free credit scores. Really? Free? Fist bump. Put on your thinking caps. Evaporation rate equals 700 times the mean temperature divided by 100 minus the latitude plus 15 times temperature minus dew point temperature divided by 80 minus temperature times millimeters per day. So easy, Sam. A caveman can do it. Got it? Great. <laughs> there it is. That is amazing. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. Scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. We're going to be with you all night long covering this severe weather threat. Only on the Weather Channel. Hey, take a look at this new video of storms blasting through Monroe, Louisiana. The winds were incredible during this one. We're also waiting to hear whether a tornado touched down nearby. Look at all that Whoa. debris just flying by the camera. That was awesome. And now we've come back again. Let's see if we can hold on for that one second where they see those. Wow. Yeah, th that's moving. Trees are down, power that's, lines that's are down. That's a severe thunderstorm. No question. Yeah, And this is, is good to show people because it does not take a tornado to get winds throwing stuff around. This is why right. we tell you to even get inside during severe thunderstorm warnings. Right. I mean, you know, people be asked, I've seen them by reporters, you think that was a tornado or straight line winds? Yeah. Well, you know, who cares if it's 100 miles an hour? Exactly. You know what I mean? Anything over 60 miles an hour, which you are seeing likely in that video, mm -hmm. able to pick up objects and toss them around. So you don't want to be out there in the path of those. And we're tracking this major storm that's taken over the whole middle of the country. Tornado warnings left and right all day long. You're watching Weather Center Live. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Alex Wilson. You know, it all started yesterday in the Plains. We continue, we expect it to continue all the way until Wednesday. Let's show you St. Louis right now. One of the places that we have been watching and a few showers in the air. You can see those raindrops beginning to accumulate right there on the camera lens. Yeah, we had the rough weather about an hour ago, hour and a half ago, but it's still, it's windy, it's humid. Southeast winds gusting to 30 miles an hour. It's windy everywhere. Omaha to Memphis to New Orleans. 
It's it's rough. How about where Mike Seidel is? Well, you know, as we track this deadly October severe outbreak, a tree did fall onto a home in Arkansas, killing a man inside. And meteorologist Mike Seidel is there. He joins us live. And let me give you the update on that because uh, I saw that story this morning. And uh, actually what happened is the husband and wife and the three kids were in the home just after 530 this morning. And both the father and mother were thrown into the field right across the street here. They were blown into the field. The father did not survive. The mom has gone through surgery. She's in ICU. The three kids have been released to the hospital, from the hospital to their grandparents. They had bumps and bruises. National Weather Service has surveyed this. This is EF2 damage they told us about an hour ago on the Weather Channel. That puts a wind somewhere between 111 and 135 miles an hour. And I checked with our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, and since 1950, there's only been one other uh, deadly tornado. That was in 1982. So this is the only uh, second time we've had a fatality from a twister in Little River County here in southwest Arkansas. Some of the damage behind me, you can see this corrugated aluminum. They've kind of piled up. They brought in some heavy machinery trying to get this tree off this particular uh, house here. And in uh, the foreground here, they pile up the debris as best they could as uh, the tornado came right through here again just after 5.30 this morning. In fact, the deputy across the house, she was out having her morning coffee and saw the lightning backlight it, and she came back into the house and told her husband, who's another sheriff's deputy here, we got to take some cover. So that's what happened here. Uh, we're between Ashdown and Foreman. We're not far from the Red River, so we're not far from the uh, Texas-Arkansas line here in southwest Arkansas. The weather has turned more stable now. We've got a northwest wind. We had a couple of light in stability showers. You can see the uh, stratus clouds coming at us. Uh, later tonight, skies will clear. We'll see temperatures down in the 50s. And then the next couple of days, the weather, Alex and Dave, will be just spectacular here uh, for the cleanup. The big concern the sheriff has tonight is so many people still without power in this county, which is a very rural county uh, here in Arkansas. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Mike. Mike Seidel with the this great information for us. We really appreciate it. And well, then we want to get yeah. more great information for you because we got to turn things over to storm specialist Dr. Greg Postel. He joins us now live from the lab. With the latest on that tropical storm, no doubt. Uh, you know, actually right now I've got a lot of severe weather to cover here. We have a big powerful system moving through the southern plains and the south part of the mid-south of the United States. This is what is creating all our severe weather. Let's look at the water vapor imagery. Unmistakable, guys. You can see that rotation area. This is a powerful upper level circulation that is lifting the atmosphere very effectively out ahead of it and uh, creating and sustaining those big thunderstorms there in the Mid-South. What we've got out ahead of that line where the line of thunderstorms, that would be right about there, that uh, white shade there, that's the line of big towering thunderstorms. Out ahead of that, we've got a lot of warm, moist air coming northward out of the Gulf of Mexico. So this air is get, continues to get more and more unstable as we move through the afternoon hours. Very humid air serving as kind of fuel for the thunderstorms. When they move through, they'll be able to tap that. And in fact, we're now starting to see some storms break out out ahead of that line. Some here in Alabama and some out ahead of the line in eastern Mississippi. So this is the area to watch because we're still getting winds aloft that are increasing in speed as the jet stream begins to power its way through the region with high altitude winds coming out a different direction, leading us to what's called wind shear. Let's take a look at Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and we're talking about sort of a vertical profile of the wind and why this is helping to create the kind of storms that we see, all these rotating storms all over the place. Let's look at this graph and I can show you that beginning at the surface, we have winds out of the south at about 20 miles per hour. Again, this is in Alabama. And then as you move up in altitude, notice two things. One, the wind goes higher in speed. It increases quickly with height and also we have winds that change direction with height because at low levels we've got winds like that then at the mid levels they go like that and upper levels are like that. So that kind of a turning of the wind with height and an increase in speed helps sustain supercell thunderstorms. If you look at what's called a hodograph, this is what meteorologists look at to show you how the wind changes in direction and speed with height. It's kind of a neat way to display it. You can see on a sort of a vector plot here the the low level winds are doing that, which would be the blue wind right here. This is kind of just a map view of what we're seeing. The mid level winds are doing that, which is like that. And then the upper level winds are out of the southwest like that. So the wind turns in direction with height and increases in speed 
like that. So that is helping to sustain isolated storms across the region, which is what we're getting right now. That's kind of like the vertical view of this whole thing. This is a really cool graph. And I can tell you what, there are some isolated storms that are continuing to work their way across the region. And one of those has actually now moved out of Mississippi and gotten into Tennessee and now is tornado warned. So this storm is rotating, no doubt about that, near Savannah, Tennessee. We have a tornado warning for Chester Harden and McNary counties until 3:45 p.m. This storm is moving on off toward the north fairly quickly at over 40 miles per hour. So let's now move on to the next plot, which we've got the high definition radar. Look, I'm going to look in close at this guy. There is that storm in Savannah, Tennessee. I am going to zoom in on this guy and I can show you that. Let's here we go. Ooh, that was the wrong direction. Look at this guy. So I'm going to look inside the storm at the velocity profile and you can see there's pretty substantial rotation in there. We have winds moving like that and like that. So that would be where the center of rotation is. If there indeed is a tornado, it would be right about there. And, and we actually have now a tornado reported with this storm. And this is a what's called the normalized rotation, sort of a value that suggests that this thing is spinning pretty quickly there. And that is exactly what we're seeing. There is the classic hook echo right in here near Stantonville. And this is in southern Tennessee. Let me look inside and see if I can find any debris in there. No significant debris signature, at least right now, but definitely that is what's called a TVS tornado vortex signature when you have not only the hook, but the reds and the greens right next to each other on the Doppler radar. Here we go. These are the locations that will be impacted by this particular storm in the next 25 to 40 minutes. There we go. Gosh, these storms, guys, mean business. There'll be a lot more of these isolated storms. As I just mentioned, you know, when we were talking about the wind profiles with height, they are going to help sustain these storms. We got a bunch more moving through Birmingham right now. These are not producing tornadoes. I'm not sure they will, but they're bringing heavy rain and high winds into the Birmingham area. Watch out for that. That severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until four. And then here we go in parts of Illinois, guys. We have more tornado warnings here. So there's a long day ahead. Active weather remains for several hours to come. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Dr. Postel. When a tornado warning pops up in your area, keep this in mind. If you're in a mobile home, Get out of it. Most tornadoes can destroy even tied down mobile homes. Get to the nearest sturdy permanent building. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under partly cloudy skies with windy conditions. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. Chevy Truck Month, time when truck guys can depend on great offers on the 2014 North American Truck of the Year. Chevy Silverado, from the family of the most dependable, longest lasting full size pickups on the road. It's Truck Month. Trade up to this Silverado Crew Cab LT All Star Edition for a total value of $8,500. It's Truck Month. See your local Chevy dealer today. Awesome. I've been Claritin Clear for eight days. At the first sign of your allergies, doctors recommend taking one Claritin every day of your allergy season for continuous relief. 21 days. 14 days of continuous relief. Live Claritin Clear every day. It's Monday, a brand new start. Your chance to rise and shine. With CenturyLink as your trusted technology partner, you can do just that. With our visionary cloud infrastructure, global broadband network, and custom communication solutions, your business is more reliable, secure, agile, and with responsive, dedicated support, we help you shine every day of the week. CenturyLink, your link to what's next. You want to fix this mess? A mess? I don't think... What's that? Snapshot from Progressive. Plug it in and you can save on car insurance based on your good driving. You sell to me? No. 
It's free. Wanna try? I try this if you try. Not this. Okay. severe cold hold you back. Sir? Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu. Serious power. I've always seen No-No on TV and I always wondered if it worked. And it's definitely, I can see what everybody talks about now. It's not a razor. It's not a laser. It's No-No from Radiancy, the number one hair removal system in the world. It's absolutely okay. no pain. Can't believe the difference, Al. It's almost hair free. No-No gives you no hair with no pain. Well, I saw it on TV and they said it was painless, right? right. I didn't really believe it, but now that I'm trying it, it feels completely painless. And now, No-No is better than ever. Introducing the new No-No Pro. It's up to 35% more powerful. Imagine never having to shave again. I like a close shave. Absolutely. And this is better than that. I mean, it, it's gone. No more facial hair. No more embarrassment. I've always been self-conscious of my hairline, so putting my hair back, this will be perfect for me. And for that man in your life, there's No-No for him too. It looks like, just like you've got a fresh wax, but like, you don't have to go through all the pain. Call now and we'll send you the cordless No-No Pro in your choice of colors. Featuring an LCD display, it comes with up to five treatment levels. Plus, we'll include everything you need to get rid of your unwanted hair. A set of Thermacon tips, specially designed for your face and body. A buffer pad to exfoliate and polish your skin. Plus, act now and we'll send you the No-No Travel Case as a free gift. And get this, you can try No-No risk-free for not 30 days, but 60 days with our triple guarantee. If you are not 100% satisfied, return it and we'll refund the purchase price, refund the shipping, and even pay the return postage. Try No-No risk-free today. I need to get myself one of these right now. Absolutely. <laughs> for your 60-day trial, go to nonopro.com or call 1-800-955-2390. That's 1-800-955-2390. Tropical Storm Gonzalo is gone. It's now a hurricane. Hurricane Gonzalo heading for the Virgin Islands. It continues to strengthen. The pressure now down to 984 millibars. Maximum sustained winds 75 miles per hour. We'll have a complete update at 50 past the hour, just six minutes from now. And how about that? Our hurricane specialist, Dr. Greg Postel, said he thought at 5 o'clock this would be a hurricane, and there you have it. Let's switch over to those severe thunderstorms because we have a lot to watch for. We are getting a storm report coming just off to the north of Corinth, Mississippi, over the border into southern Tennessee. This is the southwest part of the state. In Raymer, EMS radio traffic reports a tornado moving through that area, and this is a warned storm. So this is still in progress. If you're in the path of this, this is a reported tornado. Get to that lowest level, most interior room. Make sure that if you know somebody who's traveling through this area, you give them the heads up. It's Chester, it's Hardin counties that are included. City of Morris Chapel or town of Morris Chapel, you're up next, 351 Central Time. So just over 10 minutes. Then Milledgeville at 355, just after 4 o'clock. Sardis is the area that's going to need to watch for this storm. Further off to the south, we've got plenty of severe thunderstorm warnings into the state of Alabama moving through the Birmingham area. Travel is going to be a mess for you if you are leaving work uh, maybe early on this Monday, picking the kids up from after school sports practices. I would imagine that if any of those have been ongoing, they aren't anymore. Jefferson and Shelby and Tuscaloosa counties under a severe thunderstorm warning. Take a look at all of those lightning strikes through the area. Over 1,200 in the last 15 minutes. And when you think of it, 
If a thunderstorm produces lightning, and that's the definition of a thunderstorm, every thunderstorm is a severe thunderstorm. Right, because we talk about how dangerous that lightning is, exactly. and with it being around 3.30 that uh, local time, a lot of kids outside for those uh, high school football and other sports practices. Got to get them inside. Mm -hmm. Now, as we've been showing you, we expect the storm threat to continue overnight and into the early morning tomorrow. The danger level goes up at night when you might be away from a TV or a radio or even asleep. Meteorologist Julie Martin shows you why the time to be weather ready is right now. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. They are terrifying even in broad daylight. When a tornado hits in the middle of the night, there's little time to think. Harrisburg, Illinois is a perfect example. A tornado struck in the early morning hours on February 29th, 2012, killing eight. Of course, we were sleeping, thinking, okay, we got to get up in the morning and go to work. Alice Retzloff and her family survived thanks to her daughter. She'd stayed up all night following the radar and warnings on TV. She came in about 4.30 and said, okay, we got to get in the basement. It's headed for us. Remaining vigilant overnight is the best way to stay safe. You can't rely on a tornado siren to jar you from sleep. There's no national requirement for sirens, and many areas don't have them. Having a NOAA weather radio or signing up for wireless alerts, even push notifications from the Weather Channel app can help keep you safe. Being ready for this next severe system is critical, so go over your family's weather plan now. If you don't have a basement, be sure to seek shelter in a small, windowless first floor interior room, like a closet or bathroom. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, the Weather Channel. Now, these people in West Monroe, Louisiana, should probably not be outside. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But first, I'm going to take a look at your top five videos, correct? No, what are we? Oh, we're going All to right. radar. We're going to go. Let's check this if you. Let's do that. Oh, we want to give you weather ready tips. Tornado safety. We've got tornado warnings out there right now. So what do you do if you are in a vehicle? You're in a car. You're, you're panicking. Well, you first things first, try to find a sturdy building nearby. If you can find that, get inside that. That's going to be your best shelter. And you've seen people driving under a bridge and taking cover underneath the overpass. Not a smart idea. Okay, avoid the shelter under bridges. It can actually accelerate the winds because of that you know, the way you put your thumb over your, your faucet at your hose, right. it shoots out faster. Well, same thing for those. Tornado warning currently in effect for Jefferson County. This is in the state of Illinois, Kasner, Grand Prairie, and Rome in the path of this one. This goes until 4 o'clock Central Time. If you're in your car, find a sturdy shelter nearby. Call your family who might be in the car. Let's do a reality check. Kids will be kids. Dogs will be dogs. So let's get some paint that's more than just paint. Made to stand up to this and look beautiful for years. Let's lose the old marks and messes and stop new ones in their tracks. Let's worry-proof our walls. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Bear Premium Plus with easy clean finish starting at $25.97 a gallon. Sunday nights. When the wind blows. The Weather Channel unravels nature's darkest secrets. I saw something. I don't know how to explain it. Every Sunday. It's a story that's got a life of its own. A new tale of weather legend. It may have just looked like a storm, but they were dealing with something far worse. American Supernatural. Sunday nights at 10 on The Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under partly cloudy skies with windy conditions. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook.
first joined the army, I was very nervous. Uh, we didn't know what they would have them doing. But Bobby always had a plan. With unmatched training in over 150 careers beyond the battlefield, there are over 150 surprising ways to become Army strong. Talk to your son or daughter about opportunities in the Army. I'm only in my 60s. I've got a nice long life ahead. Big plans. So when I found out Medicare doesn't pay all my medical expenses, I looked at my options. Then I got a Medicare supplement insurance plan. If you're eligible for Medicare, you may know it only covers about 80% of your Part B medical expenses. The rest is up to you. Call now and find out about an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. Like all standardized Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans, it helps pick up some of what Medicare doesn't pay and could save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. To me, relationships matter. I've been with my doctor for 12 years. Now I know I'll be able to stick with them. With these types of plans, you'll be able to visit any doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare patients. Plus, there are no networks and virtually no referrals needed. So don't wait. Call now and request this free decision guide to help you better understand Medicare and which AARP Medicare supplement plan might be best for you. There's a wide range to choose from. We love to travel, and there's so much more to see. So we found a plan that can travel with us anywhere in the country. Join the millions of people who have already enrolled in the only Medicare supplement insurance plans endorsed by AARP, an organization serving the needs of people 50 and over for generations. Remember, all Medicare supplement insurance plans help cover what Medicare doesn't pay and could save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. Call now to request your free decision guide and learn more about the kinds of plans. And lastly, Uverse gives you a whole bunch of on-demand TV shows and movies. Let's get started. Well, how many is a whole bunch? As many as Xfinity? I swear you're gonna love it. That didn't really answer my question. Over 5,000 on demand. Well, Xfinity on demand gives us over 30,000. We'll set it up for you. Don't settle for you, Verse. Get over five times more on-demand TV shows and movies on TV with Xfinity from Comcast. Located in a discreet and tranquil Palm Beach County, Florida setting, the Rehab Center for Women provides expert and compassionate care for women who are suffering from substance abuse, trauma, and mental illness. We offer custom treatment plans, including medical detox and specialized rehab to give women the strength and focus they need to begin living the lives they deserve. You don't have to suffer anymore. Call 888-302-5579 or visit helpforwomen.com to start healing today. That's 1-855-522-2835. Every Monday night this fall. What is it that produces these things? The Weather Channel unlocks the secrets of the earth. An all-new season starts next Monday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Thanks for staying with us here on Weather Center Live. We are switching gears from the severe weather to the tropics because we've had a development as you expected with Gonzalo. Yeah, we did. We both thought that this would be a hurricane and uh, it is right now. Five o'clock Eastern Time Advisory from the Hurricane Center. 75 miles per hour on the wind speed. Uh, that is the borderline of the hurricane tropical storm force. So this is, we're now in minimal hurricane status. Moving toward the northwest now. That's critical. Look, the hurricane movement is northwest at 12, that would like likely bring the worst weather north of Puerto Rico tomorrow morning. So we'll keep an eye on this because there's still some pretty nasty weather inside of that. We know earlier today we had some wind gusts over uh, 80 miles per hour in Antigua. And I'm telling you right now, Anguilla is getting right. absolutely crushed. I mean, they are in the worst part of the storm right now. I'm sure winds are over 80 miles per hour in gusts there. Right, and, and you know, these are islands that a lot of Americans travel to, and perhaps the time of year where, you know, if you were watching for hurricanes, you might not want to but you know people still risking it and this could be a really troublesome area to be because of the wind and perhaps some rainfall issues as well yeah look at the blow up of storms though on this satellite picture right there watch this flare up 
boom, Bam. right there. Yeah. And that is a sign that this thing is intensifying mm -hmm. and maybe rapidly intensifying, which could bring it up quite a bit stronger by tomorrow morning, uh, perhaps over 100 miles per hour in the early morning hours. We'll see. Look at the uh, radar pictures here. There we go. There is the eye, this little center, and it's got an eye wall surrounding that eye. That's where the really bad weather is. That's where the wind gusts over 80 miles per hour are, and I think Anguilla is getting that right now. Right, as you mentioned, they are really right along that eye, that that area right around that eye of that hurricane, so likely seeing some of the problems now. Meanwhile, Virgin Islands. Right. They are also seeing some rain showers, and now this is moving off towards the northwest. So what's in line for them for places like Puerto Rico? Well, I think the core, the absolute worst part of the storm with the eye wall, that is going to slide likely north of the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. And uh, they will get some gusty winds with some of these outer bands that are swirling through overnight tonight. But the question is whether Puerto Rico is going to get some bad weather. Looks like some showers with some gusty winds are about ready to move through. But the worst of it is going to slide to their north. And I think we've got a graphic to show you that uh, some winds right now, St. Thomas, 12 miles per hour. So not a whole lot, but I'm telling you, it's really, really bad where the center of this storm is. Here are the hurricane advisories. We've got hurricane warnings out for the British Virgin Islands. Hurricane watches out for Puerto Rico. So this is a big deal for but the Caribbean. But you think perhaps that Anguilla, what they're seeing right now, could be the worst hit, at least for an island. Uh, not to say that Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands won't have issues tomorrow, but they probably won't see the uh, eye wall of this storm. No, I don't think Puerto Rico will see the eye wall. I think they'll see the periphery of this storm with some gusty winds and showers tomorrow morning, say 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. There we go. The northern part of the island nation will get brushed by the outer swirl of this storm, and then it's going to quickly ride basically due north. Look what happens to this thing. It goes due north, and you know who may be in its sights next? Could you imagine that? Yeah, I don't know. You know, we saw the the tightening of those bars surrounding that storm. So does that mean that we expect the pressure to drop more, that storm to strengthen more as it maybe heads north towards Bermuda? I think that's exactly right. This thing is intensifying and it's going to do one of these numbers. It's going to go like that and probably curve north. Stay way clear of the United States East Coast, but may impact Bermuda over the weekend. There's a lot of uncertainty, but watch out for that. And they just saw the last storm that's right. over the weekend. Nature repeats itself. Isn't that amazing? It is. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Postel. We'll be uh, checking in with you later, or I guess Jim Cantori will be taking over for you. Yeah, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for all your work yeah, today. Dave, thanks. we'll send it back over to you. You got the storms now. All right, thank you guys. Here's a severe thunderstorm that's producing a tornado. This is uh, just north of Savannah. This is Tennessee. We're southwest of Nashville, south of I-40, as you can see. If you live in Sardis, you're getting the worst of it right now. Scotts Hill, Lick Skillet, Parsons, and Bible Hill, Tennessee take cover immediately. This thunderstorm has produced a tornado. Meanwhile, in the Birmingham, a larger metropolitan area, there have been reports of wind damage, six reports of that, and strong wind gusts. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under partly cloudy skies with windy conditions. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. Major weather threats and tens of millions of Americans in the path of both. A big storm system in the middle of the country is moving east while Hurricane is now impacting the Caribbean islands and headed toward Puerto Rico. We're following both with extended live coverage. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live.
And one person has already been killed in this storm system that's taking days to push itself from the plains all the way to the eastern seaboard. Thanks for tuning in to Weather Center Live. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. Well, the Weather Channel is staying on all night tonight. We're going to be here with you live to track the October severe outbreak. Now, here are a few of the bigger cities being impacted by storms right now. We're talking about St. Louis. You had some rough weather earlier. Now it's just cloudy. The threat for severe weather has moved east of St. Louis into Illinois and Indiana. Nashville, we're still waiting on those storms. A wind advisory is in effect. A flash flood watch is in effect. And undoubtedly a tornado watch will be in effect right. very soon. And we do have a tornado watch for New Orleans. The bottom image that you're looking at, still folks out and about in Jackson Square, but I would imagine things would be changing as we move through the afternoon. I think so. Well, as we track this deadly October severe outbreak. A man was killed by a tornado earlier this morning. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is there in the town of Ashdown, Arkansas, and he joins us now live. Mike, what do you have for us? Uh, Dave, this morning a family of five was right across the street in a, uh, a double-wide prefabricated uh, home when this tornado rolled through just after 5.30. National Weather Service, they were out here this afternoon. They've told us it's an EF2 uh, two tornado on the enhanced Regida scale that puts the winds between 111 and 135 miles an hour. Uh, I was told by the sheriff that the mom and dad were blown out of the house into the field. The kids, the three kids, were buried under the debris. Now the kids uh, had cuts and bruises. They've been discharged from the hospital to their grandparents. Uh, the mom is in ICU. She went through surgery. She is okay right now, but she is in ICU, so it's a serious situation. And the father, unfortunately, did not survive. This is the first tornado death in this county, Little River County, since 1982, and only the second one since 1950. The one in 1982 in April was an F3 uh, twister. Another house that was hit is behind me. They've been doing cleanup and uh, trying to clean up the debris in the yard, and they've also had some heavy equipment uh, working on the corrugated aluminum roof and house there. It took a pretty good beating from this storm that rolled through here uh, before sunrise. All part of this line of severe thunderstorms, these have been these quick spin-ups. There was not a tornado warning out with the system, but remember, when you have a tornado watch and you have severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, treat that is as a tornado warning. That's what I would do. Get inside and get into the safest place, the interior room under something sturdy. So Dave and Alex, that's what happened out here in this rural county north of Texarkana here in southwest Arkansas at 530 this morning. Back to you. Thank you, Mike. Well, this storm is causing problems for travelers nationwide. There are major to look at Dallas Fort Worth almost three hours wow. due to weather and it causes wind. Right. There are no storms there. That's over. Over in the Houston area, though, it is the thunderstorms causing delays of over an hour and 45 minutes. And Philadelphia, you've got the cloud cover, the low ceilings leading to delays over one hour. No severe weather expecting in Philadelphia yet. yet. Well, storm tracker Jim Cantori joins us now. He's got a good look on at some of these severe thunderstorms. He is live in the lab. Yeah, guys, and again, uh, to remind everybody, we are far from over with this. It is going to go through the evening, through the overnight, into uh, tomorrow morning. Atlanta, just about the time you begin your rush hour, possibly, you will be dealing with this. And then we'll probably see storm development again uh, during the afternoon across parts of the mid-Atlantic region. So this is far from over. And that's the point we want to make. Uh, let's take a look at one of these models here, these high resolution models, because it does a pretty good job of initializing the main squall line and what uh, I term is, is kind of large scale ascent. These thunderstorms that are developing out ahead of Mississippi and Alabama that have actually produced 50 to 60 mile per hour winds in the Birmingham metropolitan area. So let's time this out for you. Going into Nashville uh, through about uh, one o'clock in the morning, Birmingham, you'll be done. There's Atlanta during the early morning hours. And as you can see, 10 to five, uh, including Charlotte and Roanoke. So if you're in one of these boxes, you can see the respective times uh, up on top where we expect at least the worst of the weather to come through. There may be rain with the cold front too. So the, the first line is going to be the worst one for you. Uh, the second line with the cold front uh, is going to probably get you with rain and thunder and lightning and whatnot, but it will not be uh, the worst of the two. So expect multiple lines is my point uh, out of both of this. All right, here's the tail of the tape right here. You've got a uh, uh, huge upper low right in through here. First, the nose of the jet stream is climbing up through Missouri and Iowa. That's why our severe weather has spread up and through here. That's why the tornado watch is up in this point. But we also have another piece of this, which is coming back down through West Texas right now. And that's going to start to push things along again tonight, uh, probably in 
Michigan, Mississippi, and Alabama. So we're kind of waiting for this next piece to make the turn through the base of that trough. Once it does, it's going to light things up again and probably push everything along too. You'll probably notice a few flash flood warnings that have started to come out. The southern end of the line is slowed a little bit here because we're kind of waiting on that second push. So some very heavy rain, uh, very high water content values. Not surprising to get some of these flash flood warnings out across southwest Mississippi. All right, storms uh, out ahead of the main line. Here's one of them back in your Ram Rammer, I guess it was Ramer, uh, Tennessee. We had a tornado reported there and that's continued to push off uh, toward the north and east. We'll keep an eye on these cells that are developing out ahead of the main line. This is the batch that moved through Birmingham. Look at this. I mean, wh what is this? A uh, six hour loop here? Four hours. Four, okay, four, four hours. We went from the Florida Panhandle all the way up to the north of Birmingham. How's that for screaming? That's screaming to the north. Very strong low-level jet as well, helping to carry these storms uh, off to the northeast as well. And we have storms uh, up in Illinois that have produced uh, some damaging winds. As a matter of fact, the storms that are all the way up now to the west of Champaign started down near Cape Girardeau. So you got the, one of these little bows, these little backward seas right in through here. There it is around the Macon area, possible tornado here. It's going to be right in that notch. All right, out ahead of that, right on the leading edge of that notch. So watch out in the Decatur area. The least you could get out of this is going to be uh, some strong winds, possibly some damaging winds. You can see the little uh, spin right there, actually a couple areas uh, where we may have some spin on the gust front. So that's going to be moving north uh, toward the Decatur area, uh, probably bisecting you actually. So Sarah's timed this out for us, Mount Zion around 406. Oakley uh, a little bit later than that if this thing holds true. But remember, all everything is transitioning not only from south to north, but also along the line as well. Uh, more than likely to the south in some of these areas. So again, several of these little lines where we're watching uh, the wind bash through and where we are, we're getting, of course, severe thunderstorm warnings. Jefferson County here, watch out around the Rome area, timing this one out for you around the Haines and Stevenson areas as we get toward 416. So a lot of storms here, guys, threatening the areas. We're going to go with this all night and into the morning hours. Back to you, Alex and Dave. Thank you so much, Jim. We want to keep you ahead of any life-threatening storm. We call it being weather ready. And if you're in a house with a basement, avoid windows. Get into the basement under some kind of sturdy protection, like a workbench. You again? Gorilla Glue. Of course. Water activated. Original Gorilla Glue expands into the materials to form an incredibly strong bond for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Apples are good. A Strongbow Hard Cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow motion horse, the bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider. Andrew. Rita. Sandy. Meet Chris. Jackie. Joe, minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm, we're a force of nature too. Tomorrow. I bought 51% of this business. I now control you and I can throw you out. Marcus Lamonis does whatever it takes to fix a failing business. I'm 100% in charge. The Profit, all new episodes premiere tomorrow, 10 Eastern and Pacific, on the fastest growing network in primetime. What I say goes. CNBC. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under partly cloudy skies with windy conditions. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. If you miss this Sunday night on the Weather Channel, you'll never know. Twisted weather can be wicked weather Sundays every Sunday night at nine on the Weather Channel.
You smell nothing. You smell nothing. Introducing the best lightweight litter for odor elimination, guaranteed. Fresh Step Extreme. Lightweight. Hi, Michael. Looking good. Trying to keep up with you. I told my producer, Karen, that I take Metamucil because it helped me feel fuller between meals. It's just one small change that can help lead to good things. Now, she's breaking up with the vending machine. Nope. I call that the Meta Effect. Four-in-one multi-health Metamucil. Now clinically proven to help you feel less hungry between meals and promotes heart health. Experience the Meta Effect with our new multi-health wellness line and see how one small change can lead to good things. Okay, here's the plan. You're going to want to turn right. In point two miles. No, no, no. Watch the plane. <laughs> and we have this really great view. Got a car in our blinds. And we learned how to salsa dance. He was dancing. <laughs> Backseat drivers just met their match. Introducing the entirely new Sonata Sport. You forgot to turn off the... <sighs> From Hyundai. Heavy rain and fierce winds. You're braving this bad weather for a drive across town. After all, what's the harm? The answer to that hits you in a flash. Live power lines brought down by falling branches are sparking all around you. And you're sitting in a car made of metal. So do you think you'd know what to do? Would you? A, open the door and make a run for it as soon as possible. B, stay put and hunker down inside your car. Or C, climb through the window and onto the roof to signal for help. The right answer may shock you, but not as much as the wrong ones. So there you are. Inside your vehicle, living an electric nightmare. Do you think you could survive live power lines around your car? Your best bet? B. Stay in your ride. If you're in a car and you're touching down power lines, you want to stay in that vehicle until those power lines have been safely secured. You're going to be safer in closed area than you are trying to get out of the vehicle, touching metal, and potentially getting electrocuted. Even if wires are not sparking, they could still be energized. Do not trust any wires to be dead. Wait until the utility service arrives and tells you that it is safe and that the wires have been de-energized. All right, always good advice. Let's talk about the storm danger. Tornado watches up and down through the central part of the country, all the way from the Gulf Coast around New Orleans up near Indianapolis. So we've got parts of central Illinois and Indiana all the way down towards Louisiana, Mississippi, even into Alabama. And those are farther east mornings going till midnight local time. We've got all sorts of severe warnings and tornado warnings. In effect, this tornado warning is for Marion County. This is off towards the north of Mexico. Mount Vernon. It includes Kinmoney, Raccoon, and Salem. These are some of the towns in the path of this storm as it lifts off towards the north. Further off towards the south, Decatur, Hardin, and Henderson counties, you are under a tornado warning. So this is right along and to the south of Interstate 40, Darden, Parsons, and Scotts Hill. This is off towards the south and west of Nashville, Tennessee, for some perspective. There's Nashville. Then we go further to the south, and it's mainly severe thunderstorm warnings that we're we're seeing, but those can produce very strong damaging wind gusts. As we put things in motion, you see this continues through 1 a.m. The area is in the orange. You're looking at 11 p.m. until 11 a.m. Tuesday, then later on further towards the east. Dave, over to you. That graphic is really helpful. It huh? does. It yeah. helps to kind of give you an idea of what times you need to be on extra special alert. Yes. Thank you so much, Alex. Well, this line of dangerous storms is sweeping across the Midwest and South, and the Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff joins us now from Nashville, Tennessee. He's live there. Now, Dave, I have uh, asked that you be given combat pay because we have put you in a place where a tornado watch is in effect, a flash flood watch is in effect starting at 7, and a wind advisory is in effect until tomorrow morning. How are you feeling, man? 
Yeah, well, a backing up bus uh, warning is in effect as well. Um, if you can see right in the middle of this live shot, let me move over here so you can actually see what we're talking about. We've got the river back here. This is the Cumberland River. It has flooded in the past. It doesn't look like it's going to flood this year, but they are on standby to see if there's a flood here. The storm will not pass through until 9 p.m. Central Time here in the country music capital, the World Music Center city, Nashville, Tennessee. It's right over there in Memphis right now, pushing slowly across this long state, you guys. Thank you, man. Stay safe tonight, will you please? All right, well, we want to give you some more weather ready tips. If you're in a house with no basement, lowest level, most interior room. No windows. Need new tires? Right now at Pep Boys, when you buy three select tires, you get the fourth tire free instantly. Plus, get six months special financing on purchases of $199 or more. Trust the boys to get you there. Get up to 20% off and 1,000 rewards points at bestwestern.com with a swipe, a tap, or a click. Get up to 20% off and enjoy breakfast, free high-speed internet, and 1,000 rewards points only at bestwestern.com. Apples are good. A Strongbow Hard Cider, better. But Strongbow Over Ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow-motion horse? The bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider. <laughs> Here's something fun to do with hot dogs. <laughs> Make easy crescent dogs. Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. Make dinner pop. Fatherhood. Lesson number one. Deep sea delight. Pregnant wives have late night cravings. Um, the ice cream? Please. Lesson number two. Thank you. Make sure you get her ice cream in a cup. With a lid. That's why you want accident forgiveness from Allstate. It keeps your rates from going up just because of an accident. Plus, when you switch today, you could save up to 10% more on your auto policy. Just a few more ways. The good hands are doing more than ever before. Call 866-532-0707 now. I have the worst cold with this runny nose. I better take something. Dayquil cold and flu doesn't treat your runny nose. Seriously? Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough bites your worst cold symptoms plus your runny nose. Well, what a relief it is. Today we're getting record snowfall. Radars indicate there's been flooding throughout the area. We're getting hail the size of golf balls. Maglite. Turn your light on, America. Tomorrow, the moment you wake up, turn on the Weather Channel for the essential first word on this week's severe weather. Right now, we're tracking storms that will affect tens of millions of Americans. We want to get the latest on the timing. You're driving along, having a perfectly nice day, when out of nowhere, a pickup truck slams into your brand new car. One second, it wasn't there, and the next second, boom, you had your first accident. Now you have to make your first claim. So you talk to your insurance company, and boom, you're blindsided for a second time. They won't give you enough money to replace your brand new car. Don't those people know you're already shaken up? Liberty Mutual's new car replacement will pay for the entire value of your car, plus depreciation. Call 1-888-731-2166. And for drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise your rates due to your first accident. Switch to Liberty Mutual Insurance and you could save up to $423. Call Liberty Mutual for a free quote today at 1-888-731-2166. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Brochure, call 800-297-0549. For reservations, contact your travel professional. If you miss this Sunday night on the Weather Channel, you'll never know. How twisted weather can be. Wicked Weather Sundays. Every Sunday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78.
Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. Guys, we're going to talk about the tropics in just a moment with Brian Norcross, but I want to give you a new tornado warning that just uh, came out a little while ago for Calhoun County in Florida. This is a pretty intense uh, storm, which is working its way through Calhoun County. You can see as we zoom in on it here for you, working its way again uh, off of uh, the Gulf and heading pretty much off toward the north here. What we're going to do is actually take a look at the high resolution radar and uh, not... Uh, and, and actually take a look at what's happening here. I just want to show you quickly why this was tornado warned on. You can see the strong uh, rotation that's going on there. That's the storm relative velocity. That means, uh, you know, you've got uh, strong wind coming toward the radar and strong wind going away from the radar right in there. Look at that little yellow. That's, uh, that's pretty intense. This is a brand new scan that just came in. So watch out, guys. Uh, here's the normalized rotation showing exactly where that tornado was, just north of Kennard, southeast of Frank. Uh, be on the lookout here. No correlation coefficient yet except for that one little green area in there. So we need to watch this. This uh, could be a dangerous storm that could produce a tornado at any moment. It looks better from a reflectivity standpoint as well as this storm continues to pull on off to the north. All right, a couple of threats, one to Bermuda and one to Hawaii. Let's talk about that with Brian Norcross. All right, Jim, uh, thanks very much. The tropical update here at 20 minutes after the hour, and it is now Hurricane Gonzalo down in the Lesser Antilles. Let's get right to it and bring you the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center just out at 5 o'clock. Winds estimated at 75 miles per hour. The pressure continues to drop. Uh, this system has uh, just intensified on a steady pace, moving through the islands, moving to the northwest at 12. The key piece of information there, two key pieces really, one is that it has made hurricane intensity, of course, the other is this northwest movement. It's turned northwest a little bit earlier than was forecast uh, previously, so that's keeping it away, it looks like, from Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. All right, here's the close-up satellite picture just before the sun goes down there in the Caribbean, and we can see a couple of things. One is you can see the size of the core of it right there. You notice that it's a fairly small hurricane, and the core is staying away here from the Virgin Islands right here in Puerto Rico and Culebra over there. So this is really affecting the northern Leeward Islands right now, and they are getting pounded, have been getting pounded this afternoon. The other thing you see is the most of the bad weather is over here on this side. So most of this is skewed to the east side of the system. So again, good news for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, although still there are still a possible, a possible effects. So we're not going to completely rule it out quite yet, but we're optimistic. Here on the radar now, this is a little bit of a strange radar view, and you can see it's kind of moving funny because there are two radars involved. The line is right down there. This part of it is from the U.S. radar coming out of San Juan. This part of it is from the radar coming out of Guadalupe. So this eye of the storm is actually more intense than it looks like here on the radar. It's just that it's a pretty good hike from both of those radars to see it. And that's the eye wall right in there. So we have a pretty well-developed storm and that eye wall right now is really pounding Anguilla and has been pounding Anguilla and St. Martin winds from our uh, weather underground network on uh, St. Martin gusting up to 95 miles per hour. So I think we're going to hear about damage on both of those islands. Barbuda and Antigua also got a reasonably hard hit, but the storm has intensified in the meantime. So now Anguilla and St. Martin, both uh, sides of St. Martin, are in uh, a bit of trouble with this thing. But with the motion of the eye like that, it looks like except for that it's very northeastern, fairly unpopulated island in the British Virgin Islands. Odds are the worst of this is going to miss the Virgin Islands, including most of the British Virgin Islands and the U.S. Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico here. But there are hurricane warnings in effect, of course, for these islands right where the center is and for the British Virgin Islands, but not for the U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands and over to Puerto Rico. Hurricane Watch is uh, in effect over that way, and it does look like the storm is going to uh, pass on by and, it, uh, and continue to intensify, by the way. So just a little bit a jog to the left is why they have the hurricane watch up because they're thinking a 90 mile an hour storm passing by to the north and continuing to intensify and up in the vicinity of Bermuda late in the week to early in the weekend. So Bermuda once
once again has got to watch this very closely. What's happening here? Look at this very cool steering winds. This is the uh, this is the streamline uh, graphic here. Actually, there clearly is Gonzalo. And look at what we can see back in here. Look at this tropical moisture feeding into the eastern U.S. And that's what's causing the severe weather with this cold front back out here and high pressure to the north. Well, what's going to happen is the jet stream is going to come along and that's going to move on off to the east here over the next few days. And that's going to take Gonzalo on up to the north, on up toward Bermuda. Okay, lots more in the tropical update at 50 after the hour and more severe weather coverage is coming up. Stay tuned. When your house loses power, it can be tough for your family. But not if your family has a Kohler generator. Restores power automatically in as little as 10 seconds and is backed by a five-year limited warranty. Kohler Generators. Keep your family flowing. When the power goes out, you'll go on. Contact your Kohler Generators dealer today. It's Chevy Truck Month, time when truck guys can depend on great offers on the 2014 North American Truck of the Year. Chevy Silverado, from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size pickups on the road. It's Truck Month. Trade up to this Silverado Crew Cab LT All-Star Edition for a total value of $8,500. It's Truck Month. See your local Chevy dealer today. Dave, I'm sorry to interrupt. I gotta take a sick day tomorrow. Dads don't take sick days. Dads take NyQuil. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching fever. Best sleep with a cold medicine. I let him know every time I save a dollar. Every time. Now there is a tool made for you. Introducing Savings Catcher from Walmart. It compares prices to top stores in your area. If there's a lower advertised price, Walmart will give you the difference on an e-gift card. Oh, money! <laughs> for a limited time, get two times the Savings Catcher reward dollars when you redeem to your Bluebird card. Every penny counts. Yep. Join the millions of people saving money with Savings Catcher. Go to walmart.com slash savings catcher. Save money, live better. Walmart. Oh, no. Who are you? Daddy, this is Blair. He booked this room with Priceline Express deals and saved a ton. I got everything I wanted. I always do. <laughs> this is lunch. Under the roof of a home or business, damage can happen. When it does, turn to the specialists who put help in the palm of your hand. The Ready App and Emergency Response Plans from 1-800-SERV-PRO. Like it never even happened. Huh. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more in car insurance. Hey, I know that. Well, did you know that former pro football player Icky Woods will celebrate almost anything? Uh-uh. Number 44. Woo! 44, that's me! Get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts. Woo! Give me some! Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. 44, ladies, that's me! Woo! I'm gonna get some cold cuts today. Starting next Monday, suddenly there are three sons. What would you make of that? October 20th. It's a very scary experience, actually. And continuing every Monday night this fall, the Weather Channel unlocks the secrets of the Earth. What is it that produces these things? An all-new season starts next Monday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend. 
American Supernatural Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Take a look at this new video of storms blasting through Monroe, Louisiana. Winds are incredible and they're about to pick up. Right here, look at the debris. Wow. You know, we are waiting to hear whether a tornado touched down nearby, but throughout the city there are trees down, power lines down, and no wonder when you look at that video. And some damage out at the Walmart, too. Mm -hmm. We saw pictures of that. We're tracking a major storm system that's been spinning off tornado warnings left and right all day long. You're watching Weather Center Live. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Alex Wilson. It all started yesterday in the Plains. We'll continue all the way until Wednesday. I'll show you some of the new, more new video showing some of the damage across Arkansas. The National Weather Service says an EF2 tornado did this damage in the town of Ashdown. Roofs were ripped off homes. Hundreds of trees were brought down. And unfortunately, one person was killed. And Mike Seidel is standing by. He's our meteorologist in charge on the road. He's in the town of Ashdown, Arkansas, and he joins us now. Mike, you've always got something interesting to tell us. What's today's news? Well, I want to tell you that we are in the mailing address of Ashdown, but we're actually about 10 miles from the town. Uh, this is a very rural area between Foreman and Ashdown. This is Highway 32 here. And so the town itself is fine. We're out here in these uh, fields and farmlands. And this is where we had the, the tornado hit this morning just after 530. Some of the damage behind me, this corrugated aluminum uh, house uh, has been ripped by those strong winds. You can see some of the trees were snapped. And earlier we talked to the National Weather Service. Their survey team was out here this afternoon taking a look at the damage and assessing what happened here. This is pro the primary point. This is where we believe we had the maximum winds associated with this tornado. Um, it was a double wide um, mobile home that was completely destroyed. Um, and with most of the damage that we're seeing associated with that, with that damage and uh, the damage to this house right behind us, um, we're calling that uh, minimum EF2. And Dave and Alex, EF2 damage, enhanced Fujita scale, 111 to 135 miles an hour. They'll kind of pin that down and narrow down that, that range as they uh, get out their storm report. We expect that sometime later on today. Guys, back to you. And Mike, it should be pretty windy where you are for a while, even though the threat for severe thunderstorms is gone. The parent low is just so deep, so strong. Right, and you can see all the stratocumulus clouds, the self-destructive sunshine. In fact, we had a couple of instability showers. You've been showing on the radar that big area under the upper low of showers. That will probably miss us to our north, but shows you how unstable it is aloft. And uh, unfortunately now here, we don't have to worry about severe weather. And it's going to be just beautiful here the next couple of days as they continue to clean up friends and family uh, here on Highway 32 this evening. Very interesting. Self-destructive sunshine. Self-destructive sunshine. Yes. Mike Seidel, thank you so much for that report. He's live for that tornado touchdown early this morning. Mm -hmm. Well, storm tracker Jim Cantori is in the house. He joins us now. He's live in the lab. Yeah, guys, some really uh, rough storms uh, now all the way down to the Florida Panhandle. Uh, we've got three storms we're watching right now along the Mississippi-Alabama border and one in Tennessee, uh, also up in Alabama or in uh, Illinois that's produced a tornado recently. So we've got it all here. You can see why. Big, large upper system right in through here. Jet stream kind of carving out uh, all the way up in Illinois today. There's another piece of energy dropping in on the back side of this, and that's what's going to keep us going for a good part of the night tonight as all this large-scale uh, rising air motion will continue, not to mention the change of wind direction with height. We will go from southeast to southwest, from low to high, and that's usually a pretty good uh, example of how you're going to turn that atmosphere with height. And that's really what we've been doing all day today. Look at this uh, area in through here. Just getting out of you how fast the air is coming up in and out ahead of this line. These storms right here that moved through Birmingham earlier, 50, 60 mile per hour winds, uh, pretty much came from the Florida Panhandle and move all the way to the north now, almost uh, up in toward Coleman and uh, into the Huntsville area. That's amazing. Almost in the last five hours have gone the entire length of the state. This is a new tornado warning area that we're watching in Florida for you. This is the Calhoun County area. We just had a tornado uh, that was reported here uh, in the area. Sarah's going to zoom in here for us a little bit and show you what happened here. And we're going to show you uh, also the uh, the warning. Actually, I just moved my my uh, 
TWC, Scott, so Scotts Ferry, three miles to the west northwest of Scotts Ferry, tornado uh, debris signature on the dual pole. Watch out uh, again, just to the east of Frank now is probably where this is and where uh, is moving toward Clarksville as well. So Clarksville, this could cycle back through to you. It is the only game in town. So here it is currently. Let's take a look at the high resolution radar and ask it to show us the wind field within the actual storm. Uh, the good news is, at least at the surface, I'll go up a little bit, uh, it is not rotating at this time. But watch what happens if I go back Back a couple of scans about right where the tornado uh, was reported. Look at that. Some intense rotation. You can see that right there on the normalized and also most importantly from why we know it was a tornado without an actual storm spotter out there is you can see the correlation coefficient. That is not rain. That's not rain there. That's actually uh, a, a piece of debris that's being shown up on this correlation coefficient. Thank you, dual pole radar. We would not know that a tornado was on the ground if you didn't have a spotter there or uh, we did not have this correlation coefficient. Right now, we don't have any correlation coefficient and we don't have a storm that's rotating rapidly. So that is the good news at the present time. That does not mean it may not rotate again. All right, let's go up to the north here. We're heading into uh, Illinois. This is east of St. Louis. This is the same complex that moved earlier down near the Cape Girardeau area. It's come all the way to the north, and you can see these little line segments, these little segments right in through here, these little seas. This is where you're going to get your damaging wind, and on the leading edge of that, you will sometimes get uh, tornadoes. So earlier on, we had a tornado warning with one of those. That has now worked its way on up uh, toward the Kamunde area and continues to pass these. Almost looks like it would be right in here where we get uh, the signature, and that would pass on off toward the north, just to the east, potentially, of Lone Grove and up uh, Highway 57. Uh, Sarah, nothing confirmed here on this area yet, right? Uh, no. In terms of what we've seen. All right. There's so, a new tornado confirmed here in Parsons, Tennessee with this storm. Okay, so we've already had one uh, near Rammer. Now we've got another one here near Parsons, Tennessee. This is kind of a lone supercell out ahead of the main line. So it's got a chance to take up all that change in wind direction with height without getting interfered with like these do back in here. So this has now produced two tornadoes, at least reports of them. And you can see we're continuing to see that tornado warning. This storm is about to push across Interstate 40. Uh, Sarah, go in there a little bit closer. I want to see where this is on I-4. 40. Uh, looks like, again, uh, between the Holiday area, uh, it's going to be right just to the southeast of Holiday, and it's going to come right across the interstate and through here. Let me get the, uh, let's go over to the radar here. This is going to be on... Yeah, pull it up. It's going to be on 17. We're going to pull this one up. And again, this one's uh, right near the Parsons area. It's going to come north toward I-40, just to the south of Halliday. Uh, it's a dangerous storm. Even if you don't get the tornado or you can't see the tornado, there's a very good chance uh, that it could be a little bit rain-wrapped and we could obviously have some damaging winds. So that's something we have to watch. It looks like uh, right now that the storm is just actually north of Perryville, it looks like, from some of the rotation through here. Unfortunately, this is one of these storms that today we saw on a couple of occasions that's in between three radar sites. So you're going to look high up into it that you miss some of the low-level detail. And, you know, we know it's rotating because we can see it rotating all the way up, plus we've got confirmation uh, that it's produced a tornado. But you can see we've got some hail with this. That's going to push across the interstate. Down near Perryville again, though, this is probably our best chance of where the rotation is, and that's why the tornado warning is uh, issued now to the east pretty much on the gust front, and that's going to continue to slide on off uh, toward the northeast. So dangerous storm, already produced a couple of tornadoes. These are two more very similar storms to what we have in Tennessee right now. All right, and so is the one here. Sarah, go down a little bit toward Columbus. Looks like we got another one down there. So, so these are kind of these lead supercells that are out ahead of the main line. Louds uh, County for this one, Caledonia and Columbus. Be on the lookout. This thing's coming right at you from the south. Uh, again, no tornado warning yet, but should the uh, radar operator feel this has uh, got enough s significant low-level rotation, you will get a tornado warning on it. Watch out for these lead storms. Uh, that will be just round one. The next round will be the squall line itself, and then there'll be storms for the cold front coming in during the overnight hours. Much more to come here, guys. Many tornado warnings continue here in the Mid-South tonight. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87.
Here's our seven-day outlook. Let's go Twins right, 24 stretch. 24 stretch, all diamonds. Twins right, 24 stretch, all diamonds on two. When the game's on the line. Hit them with a hard count. Let's see if they'll tip their hand. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. The puts it up the gut. Get out of the pocket. Ah! Duracell Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. Yeah, I'm married. Does it matter? You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. Many Americans who have prescriptions fail to stay on them. That's why we created programs which encourage people to take their medications regularly. <laughs> so join us as we raise a glass to everyone who remembered today. Bottoms up, America. See you tomorrow. Same time. Another innovation from CVS Health. Because health is everything. So I was a head chef at 24. I won Best New Restaurant in the Country at 31. I've published cookbooks, I've been on TV. I've relied on people every step of the way. I still do, I have to. So staying connected to those people, that's what makes me feel accomplished. They're people I connect with, that I'd sit at a table with. These are the people that I ride with every day. It's Monday, a brand new start. Your chance to rise and shine. With CenturyLink as your trusted technology partner, you can do just that. With our visionary cloud infrastructure, global broadband network, and custom communication solutions, your business is more reliable, secure, agile, and with responsive, dedicated support, we help you shine every day of the week. CenturyLink, your link to what's next. If you have Medicare Part D, you could be at the corner of I'm throwing away money, and I had no idea. Well, Walgreens has your back. Our expert pharmacists make it easy for you to save on your prescriptions so you can keep your money where it belongs. Swing by Walgreens, where you could save even more with Medicare prescription co-pays as low as $0. At the corner of Happy and Healthy. Stanley Steamer is the first carpet cleaning service certified asthma and allergy friendly. It's our new standard of clean. Call about our $99 carpet cleaning special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaner. Apples are good. As Strongbow Hard Cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow motion horse, the bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider. Making jackets that are built to perform anywhere is hard work. And at L.L. Bean, we take our job very seriously. Guaranteed quality, no matter what you're up against. From L.L. Bean. Little River Sheriff's Office confirms that this is a picture of the tornado victim from earlier today in Ashtown, Arkansas. The picture shows the victim, Eddie Witham, and his wife, Roxanne Witham. Roxanne and the couple's three children were also injured during this EF2 tornado. 
Let's give you a look at what the radar looks like out there right now because we still have more storms, more tornado warnings in effect. This storm off towards the south south or west southwest of the city of Nashville for Humphreys and Perry County in western Tennessee. This warning will move over cities like Pine View, the town of Eagle Creek at 453 right at 5 o'clock central time on the dot for Bakerville. If you are in the path of these storms, you want to get that lowest level, most interior room. If you know somebody maybe uh, heading home, let them know. Also, Decatur County included within the tornado warning. Then, approaching the Huntsville area, Dave, we've got a line of severe thunderstorms rolling through. Yeah, these produced gusty winds in Birmingham about an hour and a half ago, and also a lot of lightning, too. So heads up on the Tennessee Valley. This will move into southern Tennessee. So thunderstorms are going to be coming at us in Nashville from the south and from the west. So it could be double trouble for us. Stay apprised of things. Nashville, you're okay at the present time. But uh, after sunset tonight, that's when we should see the threat for severe weather actually increasing. In West Tennessee, we've got this activity, Chester, Hardin, and Henderson counties. A tornado warning is in effect there. So take cover now, Adamsville, Lexington, Morris Chapel, and areas around those right. towns. And as you mentioned, you know, stay apprised of your situation because as we've been talking about these, I'm looking over at our breaking weather alert system, and we've had three more warnings pop up so they are all over the place Birmingham Alabama of course you're watching the thunderstorms move through right now all the way till 6 a.m. tomorrow though you have to be weather ready damaging winds over 60 miles an hour isolated tornadoes you've got a 3 out of 10 on the Torcon flash flooding also possible well rain in association in general with this whole <laughs> storm has postponed a game three of the ALCS between the Baltimore Orioles and the Kansas City Royals that was to have taken place tonight and to give us more perspective, we have the Royals Director of Groundskeeping and Landscaping, Trevor Vance. And Trevor, I would imagine Kansas City fans, they were so excited because this was going to be the first game in Kansas City, but you, you want to make sure, I'm sure, you're doing it right. Yeah, we've had rain all morning and the, the forecast is for the rest of the evening and with the heavy winds um, there's just no sense in trying to get a ball game in tonight. And as a director of groundskeeping landscaping can you, you tell us some of the problems that the rain the water being on the field is going to cause you and also the players? Well fortunately this field's built on sand so I mean we can take up to 20 inches of rain an hour so the drainage part and everything that's not a problem but the, you know the playoff games, game of this importance, you don't want to play in the rain and risk an injury or anything like that. And with the strong winds at 20, 30 miles an hour out of the north, it'd, it'd be a miserable night for baseball. And with our forecast looking better the next three days, I think it was the best decision just to postpone and move tonight's game to tomorrow. And Trevor, you're right. The rain is going to continue the rest of the afternoon and tonight, maybe even into tomorrow morning. Do you guys just say forget about it and everybody goes home this evening and you, you worry about it in the morning? Or is it going to be an all-night affair where you're constantly you know, fighting little battles here and there? No, fortunately, we we knew what was in store. So, I mean, underneath that tarp, we're game ready. The dirt's dry. Um, it, everything's ready under there. Um, we'll nail the tarp down tight, put some extra weight on it with the additional winds, and we'll go home. And uh, there's no baseball tonight, so everybody get a good night's sleep, and we'll crank it up again tomorrow. There yeah, they go. will, because the Royals are leading that series two to Already. two games to zero. It is the best of four series. Thanks Thank for you your so time, much, Trevor. Trevor. We appreciate it. Well, if you find yourself in the middle of a storm, there are some things you should keep in mind. We're trying to keep you weather ready if you are in a tornado warned area and if you're in a vehicle. Seek shelter in a sturdy building. Avoid shelter under bridges and drive out of the tornado's path by moving at right angles to the tornado. Maybe you didn't know, people with the flu can spread it up to six feet away. Or that flu can make chronic conditions worse. Or that experts say anyone who lives or works with infants should be vaccinated. Maybe you didn't know all the stuff your Rite Aid pharmacist knew the whole time. But maybe, since you already went and got your flu shot at Rite Aid, without hassle or appointment, maybe you didn't need to know any of that. Rite Aid. With us, it's personal. Apples are good. A Strongbow hard cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow-motion horse, the bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider.
You're going to want to watch 7 a.m. on AMHQ. This is a big weather morning. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What you watch in the morning matters. It's your weather geeky this morning. Make AMHQ your morning show. America's morning headquarters. Weekday morning starting live at 7 Eastern on the Weather Channel. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend. American Supernatural. Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. From restoring damage in just one room to an entire building, turn to the cleanup team that's here in your community and here to help at 1-800-SERVE-PRO like it never even happened. Shopping online is as easy as it gets. Wouldn't it be great if hiring plumbers, carpenters, and even piano tuners were just as simple? Thanks to Angie's List, now it is. We've made hiring anyone from a handyman to a dog walker as simple as a few clicks. Buy their services directly at Angie'sList.com. No more calling around. No more hassles. Start shopping from a list of top-rated providers today. Angie's List is revolutionizing local service again. Visit Angie'sList.com today. You smell nothing. You smell nothing. Introducing the best lightweight litter for odor elimination, guaranteed. Fresh Step Extreme. Lightweight. Need new tires? Right now at Pep Boys, when you buy three select tires, you get the fourth tire free. Instantly. Plus, get up to $80 off select Cooper and Hankook tires. Trust the boys to get you there. He dropped 40 grand on a new set of wheels. And wham! A minivan T-bones you. Guess what? Your insurance company will only give you 37000 to replace it. Depreciation, they claim. How can my car depreciate before its first oil change, you ask? Maybe the better question is, why do you have that insurance company? With Liberty Mutual New Car Replacement, we'll replace the full value of your car. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Started my Camry. Drove to her wedding. Did not forever hold my peace. The Treasure Coast is a special part of Florida. It's why people retire here. It's why Bob and I moved here to raise our daughter. And I believe it needs to be protected. That's why I've worked hard to find funding to clean up the Indian River Lagoon and Loxahatchee. And it's why I voted to cut taxes and fees for our seniors and small businesses. Our community is worth fighting for, and I am just getting started. You know, Abuelo, I still need you. Well, you're stuck with me for a while, kid. And I told you not to call me Abuelo. <laughs> Because Humana's goal is to help take care of you so you can keep enjoying those special moments for a long time. Humana is your partner in health. The Humana Gold Plus HMO Medicare Advantage Plan offers you preventive coverage, wellness programs, and a gym membership at no additional cost to help take care of you. All for a zero monthly plan premium. Call a licensed sales agent today. The shipping was free. Now my home's the home I wanted to be. Shop everything home at Wayfair.com. Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. We're going to be with you all night long covering this severe weather threat. Only on the Weather Channel.
53 minutes past the top of the hour. I want to go through a couple of these tornado warnings. A lot of them are new. We've got about a half dozen out there, but we've also had some confirmations recently as well. So let's go north to south here. We start you off in Middle Tennessee here. This is the storm we've watched produced two tornadoes possibly around the Rammer and Parsons area now moving across I-40. So Humphreys and Perry County. Keep an eye. Let's time it out for you quickly here and you can see who's in harm's way. So it's going to be Kegeltown and also Elysian, Elysian Grove. Should you, of course, still see this thing rotating and it probably will be. Now look at this. Just behind that on the main line, we've had a couple of these little appendages here. All right. On some of these storms and they've produced uh, again some damaging winds. Chester, Hardin counties. Watch out around Morris Chapel, Sardis. Sardis has already had some damage, by the way. Scotts Hill uh, around 510. All right. Moving south, we have more of these to talk about. Now we are into uh, extreme uh, southwestern Alabama here. Look at this little hook right there just to the northwest of Hamilton. That's Franklin County there. Watch out around Red Bay and Vena. Look at the rotation. You can see that clearly there right on this little hook echo, right in the northern end of that little hook echo as it's moving toward the north. There are other storms up the line that aren't tornado worn yet, but they also are showing these supercell characteristics. In other words, they are rotating. Here's a storm down around uh, Tangipahoa and also Washington Parish getting ready to cross the border into Mississippi. Uh, it has some pretty strong signatures on here. Richardson, Clifton and Warrington should it come north at those respective times. All right, let's talk about what's happening in the tropics now. A couple of pretty active areas, including our very own Leeward Islands. Brian Norcross, our senior hurricane specialist with the latest. Brian. All right, Jim. Yeah, we have busy uh, activity in the tropics. Some mod for this hurricane season, isn't it? Let's get right to it here. First of all, we're going to start in the Atlantic and down there by the Leeward Islands and our new hurricane, Hurricane Gonzalo. It's right over the northern Leeward Islands now. Uh, top winds estimated at 75 miles per hour at St. Martin. It's blowing at about uh, gusting to about 70 miles per hour at the last report. Pressure continues to go down. Indications are the system is strengthening. Uh, good news is for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. It looks like it is going to stay to the east, but just uh, let it go by before you let your guard down there because it's made a directional turn. It was moving more in that direction. Now it's turned uh, more to the northwest, moving at 12 miles per hour. So it'll be moving through there at a decent clip, not terribly fast, but it's, it is moving away. Radar, uh, it looks a little funny because the, this part of it is the radar out of San Juan. This part of it over here is the radar out of Guadalupe, but we put those together and we can get a good look at the core of this thing. And if you look in there, you'll see that round area right there. It's actually stronger than it looks like on the radar because of the distances from Guadalupe and San Juan. But that core is where the worst of it is. And you can see that the back side of this is coming over again, Anguilla and St. Martin right now. A winds in Anguilla and, and the St. Martin area gusted up to 95 miles per hour at one of our weather underground stations. Also Barbuda here and down at Antigua, uh, really uh, in the uh, worst part of the storm at one point. Over here in the Virgin Islands, mostly on the fringe as we try and plot out where the center looks like it's going to go and the worst of the weather, it looks like it will miss, especially the U.S. Virgin Islands of Puerto Rico and even most of the British Virgin Islands. But obviously the farther and the closer you get to the center, the uh, worse the weather is going to be as it moves, moves by tonight and then it will be on to the north. So the hurricane warnings in effect for Anguilla, St. Martin and the British Virgin Islands and then Puerto Rico under a hurricane watch just in case it were to make a little bit of a deviation or intensify uh, real quickly. Here you see the, the track and the Bermuda is right in the middle of it, an intensifying storm. So Bermuda late in the week, early in the weekend, you're going to have to pay close attention. What's driving this thing and it's going to keep it away from the U.S. is the same big dip in the jet stream that Jim Cantori has been talking about. That's going to steer it. Watch what the model does with it. As the jet stream dip moves off to the east, that's going to turn Gonzalo toward Bermuda. We don't know that it's going to be a direct hit. We don't know how close it's going to come exactly, but it is going to be in the vicinity late in the week. We have another system out there. Tropical Depression 2C is going to head in the direction there of Hawaii, and this could be a hurricane late in the week in the vicinity of the Big Island. We'll have more on that coming up in the next hour. We'll have another tropical update for you coming up at 20 after, so join us then. I'm back with some more severe weather coverage here in just a moment. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds, 
A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 78. Tuesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. Two major weather threats and tens of millions of Americans in the path of both. A big storm in, is pushing east while a hurricane is now moving northwestward, heading in general toward uh, Puerto Rico and the Northeast Caribbean islands. We're following both of these threats with extended live coverage. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live. You know, one person was already killed with this storm system that's taking days to push itself from the plains to the eastern seaboard. Thanks for tuning in to Weather Center Live. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. Well, the Weather Channel is staying on all night live to track this October severe weather outbreak. And we want to show you a few of the bigger cities being impacted by storms right now. We're talking about St. Louis, Nashville, and New Orleans, just to name a few. So we are talking about many states, many cities with a lot of people living in them. A lot of people need to be weather heads up as we go, not just through today, but really into the next few days. I think those people will disappear in Nashville and New Orleans once the rain and storms move in here I in the next couple of hours. I think you are something. Well, as we track this deadly October severe weather outbreak, not only do we have people in the field. But we've got people in the lab. Exactly. So we would need to head, send it over to the man, Storm Tracker Jim Cantori. All right, guys, lots going on. Uh, we continue to get new tornado warnings. As a matter of fact, just while you were talking, Jackson County in Mississippi uh, and Colbert County, Alabama, as well as Lauderdale County. And I wonder if that's the cell uh, near Russellville, which is starting to rotate pretty rapidly. All right, let's that, that, just go north to south here to kind of keep uh, a little bit into this as we kind of look, first of all, at the at the big deal. Here's, uh, again, many of the tornado warnings that we have. By the way, Decatur, Illinois, reporting uh, numerous uh, trees and power lines down, a lot of debris in the area there. Uh, just to the south, I think, of, of Decatur, Illinois, so even that far north, even that far north, you can see how our jet stream has come way up to the north here, and that's pretty much cutting and helping this line. Uh, even with little, you know, less instability, we are getting the damage. Look at this. Tornado reports all the way now from Illinois down through western Kentucky. Uh, there's the storm earlier around St. Louis that produced a possible tornado. Here's the storm here earlier uh, right around the Rammer and Parsons area.